His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Khalifa approved and issued Law 17 for this year, accrediting the amended protocol of the Marrakesh Agreement, establishing the World Trade Organization. His Majesty the King also approved and issued Law 18 for this year, regarding limited investment partnerships. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today the Shura Council Chairman Ali Al Saleh and members of the representatives and Shura Councils. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister urged a closer look at the tragic situation sweeping across some countries and the differences among their peoples caused by foreign interference that has unfortunately forced the same countries to expel a number of their own people. He reiterated the importance of a unified stance amid rapid regional developments, noting that Arab cooperation and integration is a tool to face all challenges. The Prime Minister stressed the pioneering national role of the legislative authority through its legislative and monitoring role, noting that government and parliamentary work complement each other to achieve the best interests of the country and the prosperity of its people. His Royal Highness said that thanks to the government's policies, Bahrain has become a destination for education and health care. He called for efforts to continue to enhance all sectors that promote Bahrain's status. He urged caution against attempts to harm national achievements and hinder the development process, confirming that Bahrain is shielded by the unity of its people.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gudabia Palace. The meeting welcomed the results of the recent Arab summit in Nouakchott and noted the importance of putting its decisions into effect through set mechanisms that will enhance joint cooperation among Arab countries so as to overcome all challenges and threats led by the phenomenon of terrorism. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister followed up the progress of development projects in the Southern Governorate, especially in the villages of Jao and Aska. He directed quicker completion of the planning process for housing, municipal, education and health projects for the residents of Jao, Aska and Aldor. He also directed that housing service requirements should be met across every area of the kingdom, referring to the housing achievements made under the reign of His Majesty the King. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of sustainable urban development, saying it was vital to encourage innovative ways of implementing ideas that will contribute socially and environmentally to the protection and sustainability of cities. He called for greater constructive cooperation between Bahrain and the United Nations Human Settlements Programme, the UN Habitat. The Housing Minister briefed the Cabinet on the results of the third preparatory meeting of the UN Habitat III conference, which was held recently in Indonesia. He noted Bahrain's effective participation in the conference, demonstrating its interest in issues of sustainable urban development and housing, as recognised by bestowing upon His Royal Highness the Prime Minister the Scroll of Honour Award in Urban Development and Housing and by launching the Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa UN Habitat Award. The Cabinet discussed a national plan to solve problems and issues related to free visa labour, during which the Minister of Labour and Social Development briefed the meeting on the plan's key points and suggested recommendations. The meeting also discussed adopting new international standards for exchanging tax information, which have been approved by the Global Forum on Transparency and Exchange of Information for Tax Purposes. The Cabinet approved adding the substance APAN to Law 15 of 2007 regarding drugs and psychotropic substances and taking all necessary legal procedures in this regard. It also approved a draft law to amend some provisions of the social insurance law that allows private sector workers to buy extra years of service. The meeting also reviewed a number of proposals presented by the Council of Representatives. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain's participation in the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro is fully supported by His Majesty the King and followed up by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He highlighted the importance of such events on the global sports map as the only function that hosts such a large number of athletes from around the world. He said the Games were an opportunity for the Bahraini team to reinforce the kingdom's sporting status. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed great hopes for Bahrain's participation in this year's Olympics, wishing the team continued success. Bahrain is participating in the Rio Olympics with a large sports delegation comprising 36 athletes, marathon runners, sprinters, swimmers and short and long distance runners.